Why is it so hot and dry? Our climate is changing. Climate change is the shifts in temperatures and weather patterns over a long period. It's not about a single hot day, but the shift in the average temperature over a long period of time. It's not only happening here in Antigua and Barbuda, but other small islands are already experiencing climate change and its effects because of things called greenhouse gases, which trap heat and cause the temperature on our planet to rise. Even though the contribution of small islands like ours to climate change is negligible, we all need to do our part to help reverse the effects. What are we doing to stop climate change? In 2015, countries around the world signed on to the Paris Agreement, vowing to take the necessary steps to slow the rate of climate change and discontinue the actions that have caused it through their nationally determined contributions, or NDCs. So, what are we doing in Antigua and Barbuda to reduce NDCs and battle climate change? Locally, we have plans in place to have at least 86% of our energy and 100% of energy for government operations derived from renewable energy sources. We can grow our very own energy companies here in Antigua and create opportunities for you to have your very own energy related business which can generate approximately 100 million US dollars per year. We will switch to electric vehicles by banning the importation of new internal combustion engine vehicles by 2025 and having all government vehicles be electric vehicles by 2035. The effects of climate change are already being felt through hurricanes, flooding and droughts and it costs households and businesses in Antigua and Barbuda thousands of dollars a year. We must respond to reduce this prohibitive cost to our citizens. That is why we are updating the building code to include backup renewable energy production and storage so we can create a local energy sector that can facilitate job creation. Our water grid will be completely powered by renewable sources and community and sporting infrastructure will be built to be climate resilient with adequate water harvesting and storage systems. So, what else are we doing to help fight climate change? The Technology Needs Assessment Project is meant to assist participating developing countries to identify and analyze priority technologies which can form the basis for environmentally sound technology projects and programs. The main activities for the TNA project focused on the buildings, transport and water sectors. Ten technologies were approved in these three sectors. The action plan for the water sector leans heavily towards including the private sector and aimed at reducing our vulnerability to drought. The plan for the building sector includes the distribution of LED light bulbs and promotion of roofs with steeper roof pitch angles. The action plan for the transport sector includes the training of teachers and students in the maintenance and repair of electric vehicles and related renewable energy technologies. The total investment for the action plan is expected to be approximately 50 million US dollars being implemented over five years. The Department of Environment works tirelessly year-round to access funding from international funding agencies which provide grants which assist countries in achieving their climate change mitigation and adaptation targets. These funds are being used to test and deploy new technologies and greatly reduce risk to green technology entrepreneurs. This message was brought to you by the Department of the Environment and funded by Jeff to the UN Environment Program and the UNEP Copenhagen Climate Center as a part of the Technology Needs Assessment Program.